I picked these up at the Namak event, but I didn't actually buy them at the swap meet. I bought them online on this website. And uh, this is a website run by John Nehus. He's a former Matchbox ambassador and uh, he has a, a huge collection and a lot of extras that he's selling on this website. He actually has a, well, actually several Matchbox cars with the, his name on them, as you can see here, next to uh, uh, David Tilly's name. That's the Lee in Lamley. And this is a, a Datsun 510, a 9-pack or 10-pack exclusive. It also uh, came in black. So he was so kind to bring these to the event so that I don't, I don't have to pay for shipping. As I've said many times before, I hate paying for shipping. And uh, uh, since they, he has a table together with his wife at, well, several tables at uh, the Namak swap meet, uh, he can uh, bring those, whatever uh, I order from uh, the website, he can bring it to the event. And that's a sweet deal. So let's start with the five packs I got from him. This is the 2004 Fire Patrol five pack that I got for some fire engines that are in here that I need for my fire engine video. So, I'm going to open it up the usual way. Uh, this was uh, 8 euro and 70 cents, by the way, so 1 euro and 75 per vehicle. It's one of those ones that has the see through backside and the extra cover on top. So let's start with the Hummer Police. So this uh, has a opening feature here. And there's uh, some kind of a quad-like vehicle in there. Could be some kind of a robot too. Remote controlled vehicle. We got uh, a fireman on the side with the force underneath. You'll see that on several of these. Got the little bar in the front with the lights on there. No suspension. Next up, we got the foam fire truck. Blue interior, white body, and a red base. Also makes for these lights in the front and the grill. Again, you see the fireman with the force written underneath. Here we got the fire extinguisher. This is one of the reasons why I bought this pack. Uh, so it's basically a... Um, fire engine made out of a fire extinguisher. Lots of chrome on it. Yeah, definitely a quirky one for sure. Here's the uh, 4x4 fire truck. Kind of strange that it is in green, but other than that, it's okay. This is uh, obviously Matchbox original. And the airport fire tanker. So this, uh, well, I thought it moved, but it doesn't really do much. No, it's kind of fixated. Does it lift up somehow? No. Okay. Got a blue window piece. So we get the blue cherries on top. Let's 
So besides the hammer, I think these are all Matchbox Originals, by the looks of it. Now, the next pack was not in the thumbnail picture. Uh, this is a 2006 Fire 5-pack. I bought this uh, some time ago. Um, I was going to, well, I said I was going to open it up in the Fire Engines video, but I realized that uh, that's not going to work uh, for the concept of that video. So I'm going to open it up right now. And, uh, I have the cars loose in the video. That's going to be much easier for me. We got the water pumper, the red rims, blue window piece. Also a Matchbox Original. The most mostly metal uh, body, except for this gray part here in the back. You got the Ford panel van. So we got the chrome bumpers front and back, part of the chrome base. Nice rims on it. Separate piece for the light bar. That's awesome. Paramedic emergency rescue unit 474 Metro Division radio dispatched official business on the door and then matchbox fire uh, district on the door there kind of a logo and no interior on this kind of smoked windows that are not see-through but you know a lot of metal uh, in the body sweet and this one is even heavier this is the city transport bus Sorry, the Chevy transport bus, trademark GM, a metal body, very weighty. Transport services, fire rescue team, emergency crew. Cool. Completely chrome front end. Windows are a bit smoked, so it's kind of harder to see in there, but there's a row of seats in there. And a proper steering wheel. Foam fire truck again. Previously saw it in white, and now this uh, red one with uh, lots of chrome on it. White interior. Airport em emergency. And the 4x4 fire truck that we also saw previously, but I think red is a much better color for it. And then we get to the 2009 City Center, sorry, Service Center 5 pack. This was also eight euro and seventy-five cents, so one euro seventy-five per car. The Chevy van, definitely a favorite of mine. Very nice blue metallic, custom paint works, deco on the side. Got the gray base, got the gray front end and gray bumper in the back. Something written here also, but it's kind of hard to tell what that is. Maybe on a bigger screen that is uh, legible. Has a license plate embossed in the left door in the back. And this has a cool interior also that I've shown many time bef times before. Utility truck. Also a Matchbox original. So what you see in this um, metallic yellowish, well it's not really yellow, kind of more greenish or um, 
Yeah, antifreeze is sometimes what is referred to. That's uh, metal, so even part of the base, and then this uh, wheel arch, and then the tanker is plastic. Clausen Ecofuel Company. I like the uh, logo. It's kind of a bear claw. The GMC Wrecker. And a uh, Metal Flake Purple. Tow service, 24 hour service. Got the hook in the back that uh, moves and this goes up and down. So that's awesome. This uh, works very well to actually tow a Matchbox car with it. This would have been nice to have the blue window piece so we get the blue lights on top. Got the black base, so black front end. GMC embossed in the plastic there. Some stuff written on the side here again. Pretty hard to read, but maybe on a bigger screen. The highway hauler delivery truck, it says on the base, but uh, kind of based on an, on an Isuzu hauler. Um, so we got a unpainted metal base and then a uh, kind of a gunmetal gray metal cabin. Diecast salvage yard on the door, number one service. And this slides backwards, I guess, or it does does it or this just slides backwards okay I thought this slide slid backwards too but it doesn't it's fixed on there first time I having one of these open I have one uh, carded still but not open so to put a longer vehicle on there you can uh, or a bigger vehicle like for instance the van you can slide it backwards the black part of the floor so it can easily fit on there because if it would be in the closed position that wouldn't work but that's a great solution to a problem to make it fit a three inch blister that is cool sweet and the 75 chevy step side Chrome base, we got chrome bumper in the back and the trailer hitch and a completely chrome front end. The garage service center. So got the plastic bed floor, but still have the the metal sides here completely. Later on retooled. Nice color. Then we get to the uh, 10 packs. These are uh, from 2002. This one was 19 euro, so divided by 10, that's one euro and 90 cents per vehicle. So there's four USA exclusives in here, and then the rest of them are main lines. Now let's see if I can wrap this open somehow and get it out here quickly yeah like that uh, the bmw is even in a, an extra protector here interestingly so this is the z3 this uh, there's two uh, different z3 castings and um, this is the one that has the side mirrors and not the third window here the other one has a kind of a triangular window where the uh, next to the windscreen windshield where the, uh, the mirror is we got the matchbox logo on the side we got the 
headlights painted white and lots of detail in the casting and no matchbox logo on this side and no tamper on the rear either got a proper steering wheel and a nice looking interior that's what the convertible needs and then really nice uh, red color maroon red this is the first release by the way then let's do get to the airport fire pumper if i can get it out of there i to have to push it from the bottom it doesn't want to come out so this has a moving part as it said on the box in case you notice that so this comes up like that and swivels around this does not remove i think it's kind of a water basin reservoir so we got a black plastic base silver metal body no interior blue window piece The Volkswagen Microbus is next. They're all pretty wedged in there. Again, nice two tone. VW now has a um, electric vehicle that looks a lot like this. So. Uh, They've waited uh, like uh, 20 years to release this one. Uh, this was also the first release, by the way, in 2002. This is the limousine chrome base, so we get Chrome side skirts. Actually, the base sticks out all around almost, so makes for the bumpers. Also for the tail lights and the license plate. Even some chrome on the inside there. Kind of a bar in chrome. And the rest of the interior is a gray. And also get the headlights and the grill in chrome. This is a Matchbox original. Windows are not see-through. They're a solid black piece. This was also the first release of this limousine. Then we get to the Arctic Trek truck or the Snow Tracker. Moving part on this are the, uh, the tracks here that move. And they move simultaneously, obviously. That's cool. Nice feature. So metal flake orange body and a blue uh, box on there. So also 2002 mainline. Like all of these. The foam fire truck this is the third one we see in this video also in red but more of a maroon red or a metallic red the gray interior this time 2002 mainline first release also of this casting and then we get to the uh, US exclusives the uh, Chevrolet SSR first release this nice blue looks a bit smudgy I'll, uh, have to clean that I don't know what happened to it but 
seems like to have a layer of dust on it. Uh, nicely done in the back here. That's a cool deco. And uh, in front, it's not bad either. The Pontiac Piranha. First example I have of this casting. A quite a goofy looking one. First release also of this casting and a USA exclusive. He seems to have some kind of a uh, solar panel on the roof, but I don't think that is what it uh, represents. Who knows? Central exhaust. Seems to have a suicide door in the back. Silver interior. Just a side deco. That's an, definitely an odd one. Then we got the Hummer school bus. I call it that because it's got the, well, it's called that, not that I call it that, but generally it's called that because it has this Hummer style front end. Bulldog, Bulldogs football, state champs 2002. It's also USA exclusive. This has a, uh, working feature or moving part also this door should move somehow never used it before because i have an example of this but it's also in the packaging does it go to the outside or not i'm not sure or does it go to the inside oh yeah sorry it goes to the inside quite far actually that's awesome so plastic door you kind of have to push in to make it uh, open. Even though there's a lot of metal on this, it feels kind of light. A nice collection to the uh, school bus collection. Addition, sorry, to the school bus collection. And the one I'm probably most pleased about is to finally have an example of this ice cream truck. Uh, yeah, this is hard to read, this yellow base. First release also, USA, USA exclusive, Jimmy's Ice Cream. Uh, not a fan of the blue window piece. This is a Matchbox original, so, and it's got, I think, a sliding door. Yes, it does. Look at that. And then when you slide it backwards, this dude appears with an ice cream in his hand. That's awesome. Did not expect that. That's a cool feature. It's kind of hard to get it slid back. Yeah, it doesn't really want to, but okay. And in the back, there's just a, a plastic door that is kind of teal and does not. Oh, yeah, it's part of the interior, probably. Yeah, interior is teal, but kind of hard to see with the blue window piece. So, yeah. Again, a great addition to the food truck collection finally have an example of this then we get to the uh, second pack 10 pack there's kind of a theme here so on one hand there's the hammer and nails theme that uh, these vehicles have and on the other hand there's um, kind of a cross theme so this one has a cross on it um, this one has a cross on it. This one has a cross on it. Um, so there's several like that. And then just kind of uh, a beach team here with these two. And this is kind of the only odd one that does not connect to any of the others. So this was 19 euro and a half. So one euro and 95 cents for each vehicle or yeah vehicle in there. Let's try to rip it open like this again. It's a little bit harder than the other one. Yeah. Make it a lot quicker. And 
try to do it softly. Oh, these are taped up. Okay. The other wasn't. So that's interesting. Four USA exclusives in this one too. Let's start with the least interesting one to me. Also wedged in there. This is the June buggy. It's got a reverse base, so a yellow metal base, and then the rest is plastic. That's uh, got the aerial like that. So a yellow interior with the red part in there too, and a blue roll cage, kind of a hodgepodge of colors. Engine in the back. Yeah, doesn't do much for me, honestly. Again, we got one with a protector here, this one, interestingly. Um, let's continue with the uh, regular mainline models. The uh, Nissan Xterra. 2002 mainline, these are all two. Um, this casting was later on retooled to have a plastic roof and also got a little bit bigger, I think. Um, it's in a Nissan Patrol livery. That's kind of funny because that model also existed. Uh, but the biggest change later on was the um, fact that the lift gate did not open anymore on the mainline model, but it does still have a moving parts version. Lots of stuff in the back here. Hard to tell what it is, honestly. Uh, plastic lift gate also. That works very well. Well, let's continue with the beach theme. Here's the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Oh, it's got suspension. Look at that. That's one of the few in here that uh, has suspension. Well, so far. Metallic purple. It's got the boat on top. Just a side deco. Proper steam wheel. Yeah. Cool. Then we get to the odd one out here. That's okay, you got it out without wrecking it. So this is the radar truck. A weather radar truck it's also called. It's got a trailer hitch. It's got a silver metal base. Mission radar it says on the side and this thing uh, moves like that and uh, it also moves a little bit on the base there but well not really. I mean it can flex a bit so that it doesn't break apart probably. And can you turn it around? Yeah you can turn it around seems to uh, to have it go in different directions okay yeah nothing really exciting but you know interesting then let's go to the uh, fire truck also has suspension by the way awesome so this is the Dennis Saber fire truck. There's two different Dennis Saber ones. Um, this one, um, well, I can't really tell you the difference because the other one has a bigger ladder on, on, on there, I think. No interior, amber window piece, lots of metal on this uh, body. Dennis embossed in the front there. Um, let's see what else we got. We got the Beetle 4x4. This has no suspension, but it does have the opening frunk, and that's cool. There weren't that many. 
with an opening frunk and then it was uh, retooled not to open anymore so I'm glad I have a few of the opening versions got a spare wheel in there a little bit of a brush guard in the front some lights on top that uh, this is a separate piece by the way and then um, the engine and the exhaust and the um, brush guard a part of the pl a red plastic base and there's a black interior piece and the spare wheel is also part of that so we got palm trees with that cross in the middle sweet and then we get to the uh, USA exclusives that all are all in the hammer and nails theme let's get the protector off of this one first so this is the 1997 Chevy Tahoe no suspension hammer demolition 24 hour knockdown on the rocker panel blue window piece totally not necessary because it's no police vehicle or anything like that so gray bumpers and front end part of the gray base Nineteen ninety nine Chevy or Chevrolet Silverado suspension hammer and nails quality carpentry twenty four hour deco black base black bumpers front and back and the grill it's got the trailer hitch also and an all metal bed look at that that's awesome then we get to the vans. We got the 1995 Ford Transit also has suspension sweet 24 hour roofing 555 roof nice blue and then another Ford van the Ford panel van Kind of based on a Nikon line, I guess. Got the ladder on top and the pipes. No suspension. For all your plumbing needs, H&N Emergency Service, 24 hour. Cool. It's cool that they do a, a theme like that. Hey, wait a minute. I think we're missing uh, the red tempo on this side, isn't it? Yeah. I think we're missing a part of the tempo. That's cool. So this is kind of an error. That's interesting. Ah, look at that. Yeah, they ran out of red paint. Also later on, a little bit retooled. And then we get to uh, the next lot. So these are the, uh, what you see in the back there are the Matchbox Ultra. Uh, there were six sets. Unfortunately, John only had uh, five of them separately available. If you wanted to have, if you want to have, because he still has them, if you want to have uh, all six sets, you have to buy them all together, and that way they're much more afford, uh, much more expensive. Sorry. So as you know, I'm a cheapskate, so I decided to buy each set separately, and that would uh, that turned out much cheaper. Um, 32 and a half euro each they were they were priced down to seven euro so three and a half euro per car so the first set that i don't have would have been uh, this casting the uh, jaguar xj6 in a um, british racing green color with the um, all spruced up livery that we will see on the other ones uh, this casting has opening doors by the way um, and then the other one in the same set, the first set, would be the Mercedes-Benz 600 SEL. Both metal-on-metal uh, -metal vehicles with suspension and opening doors. Um, the Ultra one would be a red metallic body with a silver um, cladding on the, on the side and the bumpers. So 
that's what that would have looked like. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I cannot show you those. Then we get to uh, set number two. We get the 1987 Corvette. So a mostly metal base, but the center part is plastic. Lots of details on there. We got the uh, transmission here in blue. We got the exhaust in silver and some other details. We got the Eagle, uh, Goodyear, Goodyear Eagle tires in rubber. But uh, I can show you they are rubber like that. Um, full deco. This black line is part of the interior piece. It goes all around. Hot one, it says on the license plate. The logo on the hood. Lots of details on the side. And same license plate in the back. Corvette name. Logo here on the trunk. And then some red for the taillights. Two-tone interior, so black interior with the red accents in the center part of the seats and then in the middle. Some silver also for the shifter and on the steering wheel. And some silver for the rear view mirror. Um, yeah. This is a mainline version I have of this, so you can see um, you get much more bang for your buck with these ultra ones. Some people will not like the fact that some of these wheels are often a little bit wider than the vehicle is. I really don't mind. Let's put this in the back like that. And then the second one is the BMW 850i. Again, we got the um, transmission in blue. And part of the, the engine some probably lots of silver for the exhaust and other parts so let's um, compare it directly with the a mainline version this is the first release courtesy of david johns of twice icast so lots more details on the side kind of hard to see on that uh, plum color of the ultra one but it's got the um, black stripe on the side for the uh, protection Got the black side mirror with some silver paint in there. Um, in the back, quite different. Um, the mainline one has BMW 850i on the license plate embossed, and the uh, Ultra one has a Tampo that says BMW 850i on the license plate. The mainline actually has the correct tail lights because they were all red and not like the Ultra one, which is actually incorrect. Like that. Little uh, paint chip here on the bumper, unfortunately. Mm, and in the front, lots more details on the Ultra One, obviously. And also the same difference with the license plates, BMW logo on the Ultra One. Again, the um, review mirror painted silver, as they uh, are all are. And then, of course, the uh, interior will be two tone again. So, 10 interior with black inserts for the seats. And the accents, uh, some red also on the dashboard. It seems so, yeah. Lots of uh, cool and nice details. Next set. We've got the uh, Lamborghini Countach LP 500S. Again, Engine sump, transmission, exhaust, that's the details. So this is a uh, all plastic base, but it's painted red here on the side. A little bit different than the metal color. Uh, I have a uh, main line of this still carded in a metallic red. So we're going to use that for a comparison. So, uh, oh yeah. Um, most of these will probably have suspension too. Uh, again, lots of details on the Ultra, much more than you get on the mainline, obviously. Even to down to the um, the window there that has the black lines on there that you don't see on the mainline. Air intakes painted black. 
So it says ciao on the license plate, which is Italian for hello. And then you got the taillights done and everything. Both have the metal spoiler or wing. In the front, very nicely done headlights, the Lamborghini logo and same license plate with some details there done up. Really cool. Two-tone interior, obviously. So um, basically mostly black, but it's got um, dark red seats and silver for the shifter. Sweet. And then we got the Lincoln Town Car. Lots of chrome on it. Oh yeah, here's the um, suspension. Here's the mainline of a, a mainline version, I should say. A same amount of chrome on it, but um, uh, this has a, a two-tone roof. The ultra that the mainline did not get. Nicer wheels, of course, with the white walls and some uh, lights on the side. Very nicely done up front end there on the Ultra. Really makes a big difference. The back, well, the um, taillights are actually plastic, but uh, they get painted on on the Ultra and says classy on the license plate. Got the, again, a light colored interior, the white in this case with the um, Red centerpiece for the seats and red dashboard. That's very classy indeed, I must say. Then next up, we got the Porsche 959. Unfortunately, I don't have a mainline version of this. So we got the engine sump in the back with the uh, exhaust, boxer engine. Suspension, hot, hot one for you on the license plate, Porsche on the little spoiler, nice dark blue, and nice details in the front, a light gray interior with black inserts for the seats, black and silver for the shifter. And no tempo on the steering wheel on this one. One of my favorites, the Saab 9000 Turbo, metal on metal suspension. Here's a mainline version. So definitely a lot of difference on here. Um, with the Ultra, again, black painted side mirror and then the silver. Uh, piece there. Again, lots of difference in the back also. It's got the uh, Saab on the tab that um, connects the base to the body. Black painted bumper. And in the front, one thing we're missing in the front on the Ultra is the orange indicators. Um, got Saab embossed in the bumper and it's got some yellowish paint on it on the Ultra and the uh, Saab badge got the wipers also painted well it's actually on most of them well at least the ones that have the wipers on them they are painted black didn't notice that before uh, a kind of um, cream interior with some, um, seems to be brown uh, accents, and not on the seats, but in the, the center console and on the dashboard. And a black steering wheel. Well, I could open the door so you can see it better. If that works. And this door doesn't work very well. This one's better. Cool. OK. 
kind of an off-white eggshell on the outside. Then this one uh, you uh, recently saw um, when I uh, did the unboxing of what uh, Tyrone sent me. Tyrone from uh, Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. So here's the Ford F50. Completely plastic base and uh, just a few silver parts in there. So kind of disappointing base-wise. Here's a mainline version. So on the mainline we only get the Scuderia logo on the side. Uh, on the um, Ultra we get uh, a bit more. F50 on the license plate and uh, the lights are detailed with the Ferrari name and the Prancing Horde or uh, Il Cavallino Rampante as they say in Italian. And we got all the lights done with the uh, Streetcars Ferrari logo and some black for that intake. Obviously two-tone interior also. Black interior with red accents in the center of the seats and on the steering wheel. Silver for the uh, shifter and some silver for the, uh, the center part there between the seats. And we also get engine detail. Red for, uh, well some red and some silver. That's really nice and it even seems that it says something here in the back but I can't read that but just above the spoiler there seems to be some text there. Um, I could be uh, imagining that but that's what it seems to uh, to be. I just can't get it uh, visible enough so I can read it. Then we got the Volvo 760. Kind of an odd pair, but uh, I'm very pleased they put this uh, Volvo in there. Mainline version. So, again, lots of details on the side. Did I show you the base? No. Engine sump and uh, transmission, drive shaft, and uh, differential in the rear, exhaust. Lots of details on the base, metal on metal, and suspension obviously. So yeah, really nicely done on the side. Got the orange on the corner here, that uh, they did get do this on this one, not on the side, that's strange. And uh, completely decked up, or decked out on the rear. Uh, this is the one without the 760 GLE on the right. And in front again, lots of detail. Even got some black on that, uh, on that grill here, it seems. Well, not a lot, just a little bit. So this is a light gray interior with blue accents. Black steering wheel with some silver on there, black shifter. And a black dash, uh, blue dashboard, sorry. Cool. And the last set. Got the Austin Martin DB7. Again, engine sump, transmission, exhaust. And a rear diff with the prop shaft. Let's take a mainline version. Do a comparo. Yeah, some detail extra there. Not too much. Suspension. Now in the back, it differs a lot, as you can see. My DB7 on the license plate. Yeah, this uh, totally transforms this casting. And so it does in the front, the headlights. They both have the Aston Martin logo. But then again, this grill here. Yeah. 
definitely much nicer. Uh, white interior with black accents, black dashboard, black steering wheel, black shifter. And the last one, if it wants to come out, there it is, is the Cadillac Alante. Completely plastic base and also a little bit disappointing the, the way it's tampered up. By the way, this is screwed together. I just noticed that. Are these all screwed together? Oops, this one belongs here. Oh yeah, it seems that they are screwed together all. Yeah, that's awesome. Great for uh, customizers. Well, if you want to customize these even more, and they already are, of course, suspension. The red line is part of the interior piece on both of them. So we have got uh, tail eyes that are part of the interior piece, but uh, they get some red paint on the Ultra one and the Cadillac logo is very nicely done too. And the reverse light of course are also on there. So we got the mirror 